With that being said, really quickly, I would like to invite uh, Sister Cheryl, please, if you are here, please come on over, Sister Cheryl. As she's coming over here, in the reward program, what happened was, after the presentation, Sister Cheryl, she came up there and she said, you know, I read my Bible. So she was coming from a Christian background, right? I read my Bible. In the Old Testament, it speaks about the absolute oneness of God. But in the New Testament, it seems like it speaks about Trinity. But can you tell me that has the oneness of God, Tawheed, been diluted? Should we now believe in Trinity or should we believe in Tawheed? Please let me know and give evidence from the Old Testament, New Testament, from the Quran. Alhamdulillah. And the rest is history right on the spot. Alhamdulillah. Sister Cheryl attending that revert conference, she recited, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. And she's here. Alhamdulillah. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you, Brother Sabil, for inviting me to say a few words about dawah, spreading the message of Islam. I am truly humbled. Um, I intend to not only motivate your spirit, but hopefully touch your heart. I'll start with a personal story. So imagine, it's raining as I make my way to my car to sleep for the night. She'd lock me out of the house yet again for not wanting to go with her to her place of worship. It's not that I don't believe, I just haven't developed my own re relationship with God yet. I'm scared, but used to it by now, and decide that since religion divides, in my opinion, I want no parts of it. Later on, however, I do learn differently. My fitra, natural disposition to love God, never wavers, though. And subhanAllah, he is the best of planners. I am standing here today because of the invitation that a sister made to me. First, she offered me friendship. Next, Islam. And equally important, compassion and kindness. She insisted that my family come over and have dinner with her family. She loved me without judgment. My culture was different. My skin was different. My past was, dif was different, but none of that mattered. I took my Shahada this past October 1st with Dr. Sabil, and although terrified, once the words had been uttered, immediate relief settled in. He too showed me kindness by answering all of my questions, alhamdulillah. And so what about you? How willing are you to break bread with a non-Muslim? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted, he could have made us all the same, same religion, same language, but in his wisdom, he created our differences to teach us tolerance. This is what our faith is about. Every prophet who ever came and every follower's mission is to call people to their creator. We oftentimes hear the words dawah and think it involves some grand and elaborate acts. This world would have us believe that one would need to compromise their convictions just to be compassionate. But this is the furthest thing from the truth. Dawah is in how we act and how we treat not just non-Muslims, but our fellow sisters and brothers as well. Are you demonstrating kindness by way of even a simple smile? What of our brothers and sisters whom we haven't seen in a while? Do we reach out to them and remind them of the goodness of Islam? And let's not forget our children. My kids are 11 and 14 years of age. I know I don't look like I have kids. <laughs> and Islam is still new in our household. However, Islam is not compulsory. So I don't insist that they attend events with me all the time. But they receive dawah nonetheless. My daughter, who I'm pretty sure is borderline atheist, asks me why I haven't prayed when I get weak in that area. When I raise my voice at home, my son is quick to ask, Mom, is that how a Muslim is supposed to behave? 
I give him that look, we all know that mom look, all while rejoicing inside because they are taking notice. Everything I learn, I teach them. And so they are my spiritual mirrors, so to speak. Again, Dawa is in how we act. There are billions of future sisters and brothers just like me out there, waiting for our smile, waiting for our kindness, and waiting to break bread with us. Are you willing to open yourselves to them? Will you invite them to gain peace, literally? Well, if so, let's not keep them waiting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar!